In the next several minutes of this second of the three-part grid tutorial for Editor X, we'll be adding elements to our canvas and designing our layout. All this now. If you haven't seen the first part of this tutorial, I encourage you to go ahead and hit the link in the top right corner of this video and start there, and then come back to this video. Also, if you haven't been doing so already, go ahead and follow along and build with me. All right, now let's continue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start designing my page by adding some elements such as images, titles, and paragraph text. First, I'm gonna add an image to my page, and then I'm going to extend this across all three rows in this one column. And then I can click this button right here to stretch it and it automatically snaps. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change out this image in my site files. I'll select this headshot that I already have uploaded and perfect. Now I'm gonna add an opacity to this background image here. I'm gonna click on the design icon and gonna to go to 50%. Let's go 60% actually. And then the background is going to be 100% and I'm gonna leave it black. Next, I'm gonna go ahead to my add elements and add in a title, add in a paragraph, and last but not least, a button. And let's go ahead and arrange them and style them a little bit here. I'll bring this one down because this text is going to be pretty large. So for the H1, I'm going to change it from H2 to H1. And I'm going to use scale text, text scaling here. So this number right here, or this value is going to be the smallest that this text will get when the screen resizes. And this will be the largest that it gets. So here I'm going to make this 88 and I'll make this 56. I'm gonna put this to white and I'm gonna change this to I'm Rich Vargas. All right, and I'm just gonna drag that up a little bit here. Then for here, I already have some text that I already wrote out and I'm gonna paste it in here, change the color to white, set this as an H6. I'm sorry, set this as a paragraph one and we're gonna use text scaling again. This is gonna be 42 at its largest and this is gonna be 22. And I'm just gonna bring this rapid like right like that. And last but not least, we're gonna select our button. We're gonna go over here to the inspector panel, design and background is gonna be this blue Corners are going to be seven all the way around. Text is going to be an H6 and white. And then we're going to just stretch this button out a little bit there and give it a little bit more height. And the last thing I wanna do is select, hold down shift and then select all three and I'm going to stack them. And by stacking them, they automatically give themselves margin. So this element here gave itself top, top margin of 32 pixels. And this one gave itself 42 pixels. Now with the stack selected, I'm gonna go ahead and anchor this or dock it, I should say. And you'll see here that it's docking to the left and docking to the top. I wanna dock it to the bottom of the page. And this is gonna be Instead of a pixel value, I'm gonna put 10% at all times. And to the left of the page, 5% at all times. And I can go ahead and click save and preview this. And then you can see that it's always was going to position itself right there. If I scroll, you'll see. All right, great. Looks good, let's continue editing the page. Next, I'm going to add in our first container here. So I'm gonna click container, drag it over here. And I'm gonna change the color first, going over here to the design icon and make this blue. 
and then I'm going to add in a title and a paragraph. Perfect. And I'm just going to shrink this paragraph down so that it fits inside of this container and docks to the container and the same with the title. All right, great. Now I'm going to edit the text and this is going to say community feedback. All right, and this is going to be 25 pixels, oh, sorry, edit text, 25 pixels at its smallest. Oh, having a little bit of glitchiness here, 25 pixels and 72 at its largest. And again, this is going to be an H2, but we have to reset the changes. There we go so that it recognizes and we're going to put this to white. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out a little bit more. Bring this higher up. And then I'm going to edit this text right here. And again, I already have text written out for this. So I'll see what they say. And this is going to, again, we're going to scale this text. This is going to be 12 at its smallest and 22 at its largest. Change the color to white. And this is going to be paragraph. And we're going to have to set the color again. All right, looks good. Bring this down and then I'm going to go ahead and apply this, excuse me, stretch this to this grid container. Boom, bring this down here. And we're gonna align this and then we're gonna stack it. And then I want this exactly in the center and I want it 5% anchored to the left. There we go, awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this using command C and paste it using command V. Stretch it. And one more time. Stretch it. Oh, unstretch. Grab this here. Stretch it. Great. Now I just got to change out the text here. This will say tutorials and this one will say subscribe. All right, great. The next thing I wanna do is go into the breadcrumbs right here to select my section because or by clicking on any of these um, sections or areas, it's going to go to this um, container or to this image. So I'm gonna go to the breadcrumbs down to the section. You can also do this by going over to your layers panel over here and going to the section right here. And then I'm going to adjust the grid, edit grid. And then I wanna put a two pixel gap on the vertical and the horizontal to add some lines in between my rows and columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and save preview and now this is looking really good. Awesome. All right. So the last thing I want to do is add a logo to my page. So I'm going to go over here to the add elements, go over to image, change image and add in this white logo here. All right. I'm going to resize this, bring it up to the top of the page. Oh, a little bit of bugginess there, no problem. Bring it up to the top of the page. And for this image, I'm going to set the width to 80 pixels and I'm gonna dock it to the top and left side of the page, as you can see here. So go over to my inspector panel, make this 80 pixels. All right. And then I'm going to dock this 5% to the left, 5% to the top. 
Now I can go ahead and save, preview, and this is looking good. I may want to edit the logo to make it appear a little bit larger, and then I still have to add the text here. So let's do that real quick. So I'm gonna go and bring over some text, copy, paste, and copy, paste. And just off the top of my head, I'm gonna bring this to 150 pixels. That looks good. Save, preview. All right, now let's design for our different breakpoints. All right. Our section is really coming together now that we have added some content and designed the layout. Be sure to check out the next video and let's finish strong by making our section responsive for all breakpoints. To see other Wix tutorials, please be sure to leave a comment below letting me know. If not, let me know what you'd like to see next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos around this topic or other web design tools, concepts, and strategies, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified when the next video comes out. My name is Rich and thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.